What is up, internet? It is I, Caleb Black, and today I'm banging that RDR2 online drum again. Not to poop on the party, oh, so much, uh, but to hopefully give a frame of reference to people who play and want the game to get better, because that's the whole point of this. I spent money on the game, I'd like it to not suck, and while Rockstar is still claiming that it's in beta, we should be giving them feedback so they can make it not suck. So, yeah. Now that we're all on the same page, this is in reference to the latest updates that have dropped. I did say I was going to do a follow-up. I warned you assholes. I did play around post-update, and sadly, the only thing that's changed is... Well, nothing appreciably, really. PvP is still a mess. Auto-aim makes every engagement trivial. There's literally no skill involved in the PvP experience. Basically, if you're lucky enough to spawn in a place where you're not immediately gunned down, you have a chance of actually getting some points in any given mode, really. Racing is still boring. I mean, like the point to point and, uh, you know, lap races, they can be kind of fun depending on the lobby that you're in. So it's still luck of the draw there, but open races suck and they will forever suck. Of course, that is my opinion, but I'm right, and you're wrong if you like them. You're wrong for liking them, and your parents are secretly ashamed of you. That is a joke, by the way. I, I, I don't think your parents are actually secretive about how ashamed they are of you. So, yeah, there's that, and, you know, hunting and fishing has been nerfed pretty heavily. In fact, they went as far as removing a reliable farming spot for some big game, you know, which, like, do, do they want us to earn money in the game or not? Like, anyway, but, you know, I've, I've, I've gone over that before in my main review. Uh, what I want to harp on now, and the biggest problem that the game is facing, you know, except for the lack of content and, yeah. Actually, okay, so it's not the main thing, but it's one of the main things, yeah? So, uh, yeah, I'm talking about griefers. So, griefers, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the pollens, are human-controlled players, and I use the word human generously. Uh, they're human-controlled players who exist only to find your cereal and then shit in it. This usually involves shooting you while you're in menus, stabbing you in the kidneys while you're fishing, uh, killing you while hunting, and to be extra special asshats, uh, they usually wait for you to have a ton of pelts and a carcass on the back of your horse before they murder you, so that way you lose a ton of money, which is just, mwah, I love it, Lamo juice, as shitty as that is. And that last one is particularly galling because that is a hefty penalty doled out arbitrarily by a bored dickhead. Imagine roaming the plains, finding your zen, hunting deer, snagging some perfect pelts, and maybe you got lucky and pegged a perfect cougar. Yeah, that's that's a bit of money there. That that could get you easily, uh, you know, a new revolver or maybe one upgrade for a gun. Maybe, if you got particularly lucky on the hunt that day. And then, you know, it's like, alright, all I gotta do is get back to Blackwater, to the butcher there, and boom, baby, I got my cash in hand. And some food for later so I can refill my cores. I'm gonna try some of that oregano big game meat. Sounds tasty. Doop a doop a doo. Bam! One to the back of your head, probably with a varmin rifle at range and all of your shit is gone. With the exception of the tiny animals that you probably killed on your way there and back to make sure that you didn't lose all potential gains that you could have from your hunting trip. So, you know, that, to me, is a major obstacle that needs to be removed for most casual players. Now, some people are like, well, just get good, bro. So, well, you don't, there's no way to get good. Get good. You, you can't get good in this game. Because, like I said, there is no actual skill to the PvP in this game as it sits right now. 
auto aim glues you to your target and all you got to do is flick your right thumb up for a fraction of an instant to get a headshot in almost 99% of cases. As long as you're drawing down first, you win. How do you get how do you get good in that situation? You don't. Anybody who's telling you otherwise, you know, is one of the griefing assholes that I'm talking about. The you know, griefer's gonna grief. I enjoy responding with nothing to show for all the work and uh, buying all of the ammo that I have essentially wasted back with money that I don't have. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm salty. Turns out I'm not the only one. The good news is there's a short-term solution. You can either exploit a glitch with Stranger Missions to put you in a solo instance so you can play unmolested for a brief moment, or you can free roam in a state on the opposite end of the map that you actually want to play on. So you can spend either 12 bucks to fast travel or, you know, an hour riding your horse to where you actually want to play. Right? That sounds like fun, right? Now, you can tell if something isn't fun by measuring the lengths players will go to avoid it. And so far, the length is at least four states. The whole griefing thing is compounded by the fact that there's next to nothing left to do in the game. Hunting is the only thing that allows for emergent gameplay, and the whole business wouldn't be as busted if the one getting griefed wasn't the only person getting screwed. The worst thing to happen is you lose honor if you're griefing somebody. Oh no. And it does literally nothing, and maybe the law gets called if you kill somebody in town. But running away from the law is painfully easy. Most times, it's happening in the middle of nowhere anyway, so, you know, essentially, if you aren't interested in going into quick play lobbies as soon as you log in, you get shot in the face. Wee. Now, this needs to change. Uh, Take-Two isn't going to make ungodly sums of money off microtransactions if no one is playing the damn game after the beta is over. People who do manage to extract the fun that is buried in this game don't enjoy being shot for no reason, and there isn't any negative repercussions for those actively seeking to ruin someone's day. Like, nothing happens. Except for maybe they get shot back when the person respawns, and then you play the game of find them on the map and shoot them in the face before they have a chance to shoot you in the face, which is amusing for, well, maybe a couple minutes. And only if you didn't have anything you were planning on doing that day other than getting shot in the face. I, 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 I... Not my idea of a good time. Some people enjoy it. I personally do not. Now, what realistically can be done about this stuff? Griefers have been around for as long as there have been online games. So you'd think that Rockstar would have a handle on this, right? I mean... Other games make a whole design philosophy around griefers. They are part of the ecosystem, and they are paying customers who have a product they should enjoy the way they want to enjoy it. To be fair. So, you know, let the griefers grief. They're gonna. They're gonna find a way to do it anyway. And they paid for the game, so, you know, they should be able to have fun too. I, I don't like playing with griefers, but they are allowed to play. I'm not saying, you know, ban griefers. I'm not saying completely change the core systems of the game to make griefing impossible, because that's a part of the game. And anybody who jumped on the beta just so they could be psychopaths in the Old West, you know, that's the game they want to play. Then they should be able to play it online and piss people off. But there has to be a balance. So what I believe is feasible and a fair solution would be an invite-only lobby for free roam. You should still be able to do most stranger missions in that lobby, except for the ones that make you target other players, and ones where other players can actively target you, like, you know, the mail runner and the, the wagon thing, where other players on the server say, okay, hey, you've got a rival posse doing this thing, go screw them up, yeah? You wouldn't be able to do that in the invite-only lobby, because you only have people in that instance that are either already on your posse or you're by yourself. So that way, you're not incentivizing people to just go into the solo lobbies in free realm. 
there is a drawback to avoiding grapers. So that way, you know, people would still want to be in servers with other players that they don't know and who can actively shoot them in the face. It's not a perfect solution, but it does mitigate some of the problems that PvP and Free Realm causes to hundreds trying to mind their own business. Getting killed by your own stupidity or by bears would still cause hours of work disappearing into the ether, but at least you would have no one to blame but yourself or, alternatively, bears. Because bears suck. The reason that I think this is the best solution is that it would end up being less work on Rockstar than introducing whole new mechanics to the honor slash dishonor level. I mean, it would end up being less controversial uh, than trying to balance weapons damage and the auto-aim. Plus, they will effectively keep me from bitching about this particular issue anymore. And even better for me, I could actually make other content for my own channel without fear of a community guideline strike from a random teenager calling me edgy names for shock value. Well, I'd call that a win-win. This is my opinion, of course. I'm not an expert on net coding or coding for games in general. I'm just, it, it's an idea that I have. We're allowed to have ideas, we're allowed to posit solutions for things that we see as a problem. You know? And my idea might be so pie in the sky that it sounds ridiculous to anybody with coding experience, but I have this funny feeling that just being able to make separate instances for people who don't want to be shot in the face constantly while they're doing other things wouldn't be too much work. Because when you start tweaking other systems, like, you know, auto-aim sensitivity or weapons damage, you've when you make a change like that to the player ecosystem, it has a tendency to snowball. So, you know, and plus, nobody wants their cool new gun that they spent, oh, $600 on to get nerfed and make that investment useless. That is a good way of pissing off your player base. So, that's why I'm suggesting, you know, non-PVP lobbies that you can join. Non-PVP non free realm lobbies that you can join. You might, you know, and from that lobby you can still do the player versus player shit from, you know, like races and big events and stuff like that. You just wouldn't be able to do certain stranger missions to make sure that there's still a reason to go into a normal lobby so you can be grieved. Uh, it, it, it seems like less work than actually trying to figure out how to punish griefers who are having fun with the game. You don't... There's not enough fun shit to do in the game as it is. So I'm reluctant to make anybody else have less fun because I'm not a griefing asshole, and I don't want to grief the griefers, What's which it to be? sounds ridiculous when I put it that way. But it's the truth. I think everybody should have fun with the game the way they want to have fun with the game. And the only way to do that is to give griefers their space to grief, because griefers gonna grief, then that's the most fair solution, in my opinion. Now, if anybody else has any ideas as to, you know, different systems they could put in place, something that uh, isn't too much work for people at Rockstar, because the more work it would require, the less likely they would actually implement that change, because time is money. And Take-Two doesn't want to spend money, they want to make us spend money on gold bars. Uh, so, you know, if, if we work within that framework, I think we could actually get a change to the current environment in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. It's still technically a beta. They're still taking feedback and they're still making adjustments to the game, which is the only reason why I'm still willing to call it a beta. But, you know, they are probably planning on releasing new content. They are probably got stuff in the works. They are probably... Oh, God damn it. Words. In English. Trying that now. They are building more stuff for the game. But, no one is going to be around to play that new stuff if they can't get the core systems to be fun. And part of what's holding back a lot of people's fun is the griefing problem.
Sometimes you just want to sit next to a riverbank and fish and, you know, talk to yourself or your horse. And when somebody random comes along and decides to ruin the beauty of your natural surroundings with a puddle of your own blood, it, it it's, it's not ideal. So, those are my opinions. I have a potential solution. If you have any ideas on how to solve the grazing problem in Red Dead Redemption 2 online, uh, you know, leave them in the comments. And, uh, yeah, let's keep that feedback coming to Rockstar, because Red Dead Redemption 2 online doesn't have to suck. It could actually be really good. But it's critical that we make our opinions known now. Because they're less likely to do things for us, like anything major for us, after the game is, air quotes, fully released. But... This has been Caleb Black. Do the YouTube shit. Like, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Talk to Rockstar. Tell them how you feel. Let them know what you like and what you don't like about the game. And offer them solutions to the problem. And we might actually get something out of this. Peace!